open it. Mother! Did you bring me a present? <laughs> of a sort. It's all right. This is my daughter, mm. Kirsi. <gasps> Kirsi. Hmm? This is Lucia. Ooh, this girl is a mess. Ahem. <laughs> It is a pleasure to meet you, Lucia. <gasps> Lucia will be living with us. I believe she could make a rather good lady in waiting. You will need one when it comes time for the wedding. A wedding? My wedding. I am going to marry the prince someday and become queen. We have been engaged since I was born. <laughs> well, if you are going to be my lady in waiting, you will need a makeover! First, let's get rid of these clothes. They are filthy. <laughs> Leave her be, Kiersey. She is very tired. You should be in bed yourself. Would you like me to take her, my lord? That will not be necessary. Don't worry. You are safe now. No one will hurt you. Of her future majesty together. <sighs> Cursey. That lot of help you are. Rise and shine, my lady. We have a full day today. <sighs> Don't I have any say in this? What is the use of being queen if I can't sleep in? Ah! Too cold! Too <laughs> hot! You aren't a queen yet, my lady. And even then, I doubt you'll be doing much sleeping in. Now, about all those wine bottles. What? I just had a few nightcaps. What else am I supposed to do for fun around here? Getting ready for the tournament today is a good start. Oh, the tournament. Why can't you throw a ball or something I want to do? Or what about a romantic picnic? Do you think he's avoiding me? Of course not. If anything, you are avoiding him. But that stops starting today. As well as your nightcaps. It is common sense that people will find you more enjoyable when you are not hungover. Mm. <laughs> this would all be so much easier if the fairies weren't causing so many problems. The fairy wall keeps Raymond so busy. Ooh. But enough about me. I know this is just as big a change for you as it is for me. <laughs> I'm not the one marrying a king. True, but you just wait. Your wedding won't be long after mine. I'll see to that. Let's get you dressed and ready before you start planning any other weddings.
This is now or never. We're not going to get another chance. So do not fail me. with Raymond's champion knight in the mix. At least it allows us to view the gallery of knights available to you. My lady. Don't my lady me. You told me I had to try and enjoy myself. And that means talking knights and men with my best friend. Honestly, you have your pick here. It's like a day at the market. They are hardly fruit and vegetables, my lady. That's right. They are 100% meat. <laughs> Introducing Lady Kiersey uh. and her lady in waiting, Lady Lucia. Mm. It is a pleasure to have you join us, Lady Kiersey. A pleasure to be here, Your Majesty. Mm. Talk to him. Your champion knight seems to be making quick work of this tournament. Yes, Sir Baynard remains undefeated. <laughs> But he proves to be entertaining nonetheless. He may have a challenge today, if my mage's claims are true. Isn't that right, Norix? A thousand pardons, your majesty, for my lateness. You shall be forgiven, if your little experiment today proves entertaining. Ladies, this is court mage Norix. My apologies for not introducing myself sooner, my lady. My work keeps me very busy. Think nothing of it. This is my lady-in-waiting, Lucia. Courtmate, was it? Forgive me, but I thought the practice of magic was banned in the kingdom. Ah, it is. But I and others have been given license by the king to practice use of magic for the betterment of the kingdom, rather than its destruction. That is fascinating! Well, I hope I get the chance to learn more about your work. Really? Well... It would be my pleasure, Lady Lucia. Hmm. Mm. You will have the opportunity to witness Norix's work today, my lady. Where is this war you have promised me? Waiting for your summons, your majesty. Consider it summoned. Let us get a good look at it before Baynard turns it to scrap. <laughs> Your Majesty, meet your new champion knight! Uh, it looks like a demon! He had to include a dramatic entrance. It is perfectly harmless until ordered otherwise, my lady. I look forward to seeing that claim put to the test. Sir Baynard! Shall we have you test Norx as a little toy? I would hate to put our good mage's work out of commission on its first day, but should my king command it, it shall be done. And if I may be so bold, your majesty, I wish to dedicate this next win to your lovely bride-to-be. You may dedicate your win to whomever you wish, Sir Baynard, so long as you continue to win. <laughs> you flatter me, your majesty. I look forward to presenting you my rose, mm -hmm. as well as wishes to your upcoming marriage, my lady. Rose? The winning knight is given a rose to bestow to whomever he wishes. Most commonly, the woman who holds his heart. Although, I do not think there are enough roses in the royal garden to supply all the ladies whose heart Sir Baynard has claimed. But enough of that. Let the contestants prepare for battle! Where are you going? To get a closer look. It's not every day you get to see magic like this in action. <laughs> Contestants, to your marks! 
Let the final fight of the tournament commence! <laughs>